today's moral story is the bear and the two travelers two friends were traveling together when they saw a bear coming towards them one of them climbed up quickly into a tree and hit himself the other didn't know what to do and fell flat on the ground when the bear came and felt him with his snout he happier to be dead and the bear left him and went away after the bear left the man stood up and his friend came down from the tree and asked what did the bear whisper in your ear the man said the bear told me that never trust a friend who leaves you alone in danger and the moral of the story is misfortune tests the sincerity of friends now let's listen to the moral story of the bat and the weasels one day a bat was caught by a weasel the bat pleaded for his life but the weasel did not pity on him the weasel said you are a mouse and i like to eat mice then the bat said look at my wings i'm a bird please let me go so the weasels examined him and then let him go a few days later the same bat was caught by another weasel this weasel preyed on only birds the bat told the weasel i'm not a bird i'm a mouse the weasel believed the bat so he set him free moral set your sails with the wind and the next moral story is the boys and the frogs one day some boys were playing near a pond in which lived a family of frogs the boys started to throw the stones into the pond for fun and when the latest splash they jumped and enjoyed very much as the stones were hitting the water the poor frogs in the pond were shivering with fear finally one brave frog put his head out of the water and pleaded oh please dear children stop your cruel play what is sport to you is death to us moral we should not have our pleasures at the expense of others now let's see the moral story of the cat the rooster and the young mouse once upon a time a young mouse made his first trip out of the hole to see the world he returned to tell his mother about his adventures oh mother said the mouse i i saw an animal a terrible looking monster he had draw red meat on his head and he gazed at me violently but i, I